All right, it's 2023, so I guess that means it's time for me to share my top five programming languages for 2023, because apparently that is a requirement for any channel that talks about programming. Now, I've used many different programming languages over the last 10 years, and I've learned a lot about which languages are going to be important in the future and which ones are kind of dying off. So I've made projects in Python, like a Rubik's Cube solver or a jump cutter for editing my videos, which I still use to this day, but haven't released publicly yet. I may still do that in the future. I've also made a bunch of simulations in Unity using C Sharp. I've made web apps like FastingPal. I've made mobile versions of these things using React Native, Flutter, and Electron. So I have a pretty wide exposure to a bunch of different languages and I've used a bunch of different low level languages for my job. But for this list, I didn't base it purely off my opinions. I went through a ton of other articles, videos, and statistics about growing programming languages. And I made sure I only picked the ones that had an upward growing trend, had a lot of job availability, and also are the ones that I think are the most useful. And I wrote this list before I actually did all the research, but it turned out to be basically the same even after the research, so I guess my hunches were correct. But without making this intro any longer than it needs to be, my first language is JavaScript. That's my number one pick for if you're learning a language, learn that one first. There may be other ones that are better, but there aren't any that are quite like JavaScript in the sense that you can make almost anything with it. If you need to make a front end for a website, that's literally what it was built for. If you need to build a back end for a website, well, that's what the JS in Node.js stands for. Let's say you need to turn it into a mobile application. Well, you have React Native to bridge the gap. But what if you wanna make a desktop application that can run on multiple platforms like Mac, Windows, and Linux? Well, you could just wrap your JavaScript program in an Electron wrapper and there you go. So as you can see, this really has no limits as to what platforms you could put your web app on if you learn JavaScript. And it is a lot easier to create the code in one place and be able to turn it into all of these different applications with ease. Whereas if you just wrote a program in Swift for an iOS device and you wanted to then port it over to all these different platforms, it would be a lot harder because you'd have to basically rewrite the code base in whatever language you wanted to use it for. The other benefit of JavaScript is that there are so many different tools and libraries for it already existing and tutorials that it'll be much easier to pick up than some other languages. And my favorite thing about JavaScript, which is why I'm putting it over Python, even though Python is what I started with, is because of the shareability factor of any code that you write or prototype that you make, you can easily turn into a real web app with just a few simple steps. You don't have to convert the whole thing to a different language or use some weird clunky UI library to get it to kind of look nice, but still look bad in the end, like Python. Because I've started projects with Python before, but you're really going against the grain when you try to make it into a releasable app. So that's why for me, JavaScript is so much better because when you're able to make something and see it looks nice on, on the screen or even just get feedback in general, it is really motivating and can help you continue working on a project. Because if you're just looking at code and a little terminal window all the time, it can get demotivating, especially when you're first starting out. But if you're able to create things and share it with other people, then I feel like that's a better way to get started. Even if Python might be simpler and easier to learn, just having JavaScript be shareable, easy to use, and the core of so many different applications in the modern day really makes it my top pick. Although I was just bashing Python, it is still my second language that I'd recommend for 2023 because of its ability to help with data science, artificial intelligence, and it's just its number crunching abilities in general makes it a very versatile tool. And with the meteoric rise in artificial intelligence lately, I do not see the popularity of Python going down. In fact, I see it getting even higher than it already is. One way to think about comparing Python and JavaScript is you usually write JavaScript for other users to use, but you write Python code for other programmers to use. And there's a difference because usually with Python, you're writing tools that can be used in the back end of websites, or you're making some AI that can be used in other applications, but you aren't writing the applications themselves. And it can still be very fulfilling to make some cool AI tools in Python, but just know that you aren't going to be implementing them on the front end or user base unless you actually make that as well using something like JavaScript or you go against the grain and just try to make Python work for it. The third language on my list is C Sharp. C Sharp has been rising in popularity with game developers because of Unity. And I've been messing around with Unity and using it for all of my simulations and my videos for neural networks, self-driving cars, and evolution simulators. And just learning C Sharp and Unity has been a fun experience, similar to learning JavaScript, because you can make these cool looking things that you could share with people in Unity. They don't need to be games. I've been making simulations. I haven't even made a single game yet 
I do plan on dabbling with it in the future, but I think that if you're interested in game development, this would be the first language you should learn. Okay, so I feel like with those three languages, they are the main three that you should focus on. If you want to do web development, choose JavaScript. If you want to do AI, choose Python. And if you want to do game development, choose C Sharp. And that covers most applications of programming. And now if you're trying to learn a second or third language, you can try to start thinking about the next two that I talk about. And the fourth language is Rust. And although Rust isn't a very popular programming language currently, it is actually the most loved programming language based on the Stack Overflow survey in 2022. Rust is more often used for writing system code and low level programming. Its actual main reason for existence is to replace C and C++ and have it be a safer way of writing code that's more reliable. And it focuses on different aspects of programming than the other three do. So it's a good way to round out your portfolio if you're interested in becoming a well-rounded programmer. All right, and I had a hard time picking language number five, which is why it might be a little bit of a cop-out answer, and that is TypeScript. Yes, I basically included JavaScript twice, but TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript, which means it is basically built on top of it and is optional. TypeScript adds static types to JavaScript, and it is growing in popularity more and more each year. You could actually have them work side by side, so you can kind of slowly advance your knowledge of TypeScript as you go, if you already understand JavaScript. One thing I wanna say before I wrap up is if this is your first time learning programming and you're wondering which one to learn first, don't make the mistake of learning more than one of these. Pick the language that is most aligned with your goals and stick with it for a long period of time. A common mistake that beginner programmers make is they think that learning multiple programming languages will make them a better programmer. But really, learning one programming language very well will make them a better programmer. Because when you learn a bunch of programming languages at once, you're just learning syntax, which isn't important. You really wanna learn the programming fundamentals and the logic and everything behind that. And then once you learn that, learning the syntax of another language is actually pretty easy. So don't spread yourself too thin in the beginning. Pick one of these languages based off of what you wanna use it for, but just keep that in mind if you're just starting out. Those are my top five languages for 2023. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, that button doesn't work anymore. But if you don't agree with this list, let me know why in the comments, and I am open to having my mind changed about these rankings. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.